right, this is the day, this is the day the Lord has made. Catling, officially. I could never make up my mind one name, but uh, uh, because Ghost Cat, I got the postcard. I know it looks only six by nine, but uh, uh, you can see very clearly it's Big Trouble. That's me in Little China. Uh, meets Raiders of the Lost Ark because you can see that there is a what? Not the movies, but there's a, a church in the steeple. So uh, it is, um, what do you call, faith-based comic book superhero. It has never been done, but don't steal it from me. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The story is in the back. I uh, don't want you to steal it from me, but look, 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 look. Okay, I want to officially thank Terrence Twain, if that is not a, a fictitious name, somebody sent me PayPal a hundred dollars on my birthday. But damn PayPal, um, I don't mean damn, but they uh, forgot conveniently to notify me. So I just log into it because I have to pay somebody that bought something from eBay uh, by ink. This costs a lot of ink. Seventy-seven dollars was it? You know how they trick you into it, like a free printer, uh, HP, everything is free, but uh, the catch is when you go try to buy the ink cartridge because you ran out, because everything is now all color. There is no separate cartridge. So meaning that you have to buy the four color cartridge, which is like $100. <laughs> and if the black runs out first, because I said I only make copies for legal documents. Uh, thank you very much. Rice Girl has an official distributor uh, I met the uh, lady, I can tell you her first name, Maria, Eric, they're very, uh, very nice people and sharp, sharp. So uh, um, hopefully when I go to AFM, Rice Girl, look out for, well, I guess so, I could, I could promote it, Leo Mark. Uh, anyways, uh, Leo, like Leo, uh, the, the lion, Leo Mark, and that's the company distribution. Oh, uh, happy, 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 happy uh, if anybody has any Trump tickets because he was in San Diego checking out that big shiny wall. Uh, I have not gone down and seen it, but I saw that um, Mr. Trump autographed it. I want to go kiss it. Bleh. It's only because of all you lamestream media, everybody has this... Uh, uh, you know, I guess that should be on a medical term when people go see help. They need help uh, when they have the Trump derangement syndrome. Everything blame Trump. So uh, I'm so happy he was in California. When he sets foot on California, basically we're making a spiritual announcement. Uh, when I say spiritual announcement, meaning that even though what we see right now, it's just in shambles. I'm, uh, I'm totally serious about that. Most prosperous studio city. Uh, now, if not for the film industry and all that kind of stuff, we would have been uh, in poverty like Compton everywhere. <laughs> oh, I know if you live in Compton, you say, oh, how dare she talk about Compton like that. Well, I mean, or Tijuana, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Uh, I'm just saying that uh, business or fleeing, when I say fleeing, they cannot make anything work because business are in business for a profit. Not when the, the government is like setting so many regulations um, so that they're taxed to death. Like that Zula bed, uh, if you didn't know, that's like a new uh, furniture service that took over this audio, outdoor patio deck place. Because, you know, I go by every day. I mean, I sing these business like on Ventura Boulevard, the most prosperous. It's like the malls of America. Um, the most expensive prime real estate go kaput. Even my gym, seriously, got out of the uh, uh, Ventura and Eureka location, my favorite location. It's a a little hole in the wall, but they can't even sustain that. So I have never seen that for rent, lease, uh, and the uh, red signs there. The uh, real estate is plummeting. It's going to be like Ventura. This is what happens when you have socialized Democrats that are telling you everything is free when, in fact, just look, don't be stupid. I think young people are, when I say stupid, meaning ignorant, uh, because when I say free, oh, yeah, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> 
uh, this is funny when I saw the uh, headline today when they say like uh, in comparison who can beat Trump it, it's just funny I mean I don't like Shepard Smith anymore because he has also the Trump derangement syndrome so I advise you Shepard Smith go see help uh, or you know pop some uh, Trump derangement syndrome antidote <laughs> that's to watch this video or this guy Terrence Williams he is so funny a black guy um anyways so they compare who can beat trump they said oh okay camilla harris had dropped so much and they put out three big pictures against trump you know it's like a football game like ah you have brady on one end with a you know huge gigantic poster like him cocking back cocking back i kind of like that i got a little bit of british in me uh with a football in his hand football did i say football Football, you know what I'm talking about. Football, and um, <laughs> Peyton Manning on the other hand, you know, like a duel. But this is like a, a triplet. So they have Donald Trump looking like this, like this. You seen that picture? Like, you know, he's serious business. Don't fuck with us. Don't fuck with the United States of America. We gotta win that trade war with China. Yes, China has been stealing from everybody. I mean, I know I'm an artist, and all the artists. You, I, I don't understand that. I mean, people live in their bubbles. They should rise up. If you don't want to be ripped off, you should rise up and say, hey, no more stealing my shit. I spend hours and hours flesh and blood and then go into farmer's market and try to, you know, get acai juice. So my brain is filled with antioxidant. I come up with music that, that would just knock your socks off or scripts and screenplay like the ghost card. You see what I mean? goes caught uh, anyways I'm announcing it right now we're seeking the distribution so thankfully uh, pray for me because uh, a nice gentleman that had funded movies before uh, I gather that maybe he had a little difficult time with the filmmakers because you know filmmakers are wacky but you know, we're legitimate business people so I said to him, I said, we also have an ancillary comic book in development. It's, it's not a lie. Uh, I cannot tell you uh, who is the uh, comic book publisher because there are two big ones. I mean, I'm not an expert, but my friend, my uh, producer that, who designed this, uh, this was, but also we commissioned the Dark Inker. So I'm giving him a plug, the Dark Inker. Look at his work. It's fantastic. He's able to use the little... A picture, just two pictures I gave him. That's moi, yours truly, and there's the woohoo, very sexy. Anyways, he's able to draw over it and then come up with the rest of the characters. I know the hero right in the middle of the train, uh, that's supposed to be Kevin Sorbo. That, yeah, I really like him, even though the some of the distributor talked to uh, like Premier, they say, Oh, we like Sorbo, but he has no money value. You should get us Lawrence Fishburne. Anyways, I'm not mocking them, I'm just saying. Those are the things people say to you. Anywho, uh, let's get back to what, uh, what we're talking about is that we put so much in. You saw me bleeding uh, flesh and blood. By the way, anybody know that why is the Rolling Stone song uh, uh, that's uh, always at the end of the Trump rally? I love it. That's how I'm starting to learn it. You can't always get what you want. I was singing well <clears throat> I gotta get my voice back so I can you know have that pitch like the uh, London choir you can't always get what you want but if you try sometimes then you might find you get what you need oh yeah uh, my favorite verse I know I'm just going over the place so whatever if you're offended then uh, bug off <laughs> uh, I, my favorite verse I know it doesn't make any sense but I suppose nothing in the lyrics makes sense because everybody was like stoners, you see. I went down to the Chelsea drugstore to get your prescription filled. Oh, I know you're a drug addict. <laughs> I was standing in line with Mr. Jimmy and boy, he looked pretty ill. And we decided that we're gonna have a soda. My favorite flavor, 
cherry red <laughs> and I sang my song to Mr. Jimmy and he said one word to me and I was dead well I'm just exaggerating and I said to him you can't always get what you want but you can get ghost cat well I haven't made it yet get rice girl uh, anyway so my distributor got on D straight be rice girl I never could understand the meaning of the the lyrics you can't always get what you want <laughs> uh, of course you can't always get what you want because if you get everything that you want where would you put it? <laughs> that's my ex husband's name uh, I, I'm not a genius I came up with that saying my ex-husband always said because you're such a harder you can't get everything harder anyways um, uh, so so when I go back to the Donald Trump thing if you have any tickets please help me out I can't afford a thousand dollars to go to Beverly Hills um, well, maybe I will put on a MAGA hat and uh, sing You can't always get what you want In the background, because every time you see like a Trump rally They always have like, you know, people wearing MAGA hats in the background Oh, so you need some, if you need an oriental face <laughs> I know, you're going to chastise me because I use the word oriental I mean, you know, it was never a problem when I grew up in the Orient That's the Far East that's why the word the Orient and the Oriental Express was not like derogatory. Now everything is fucking derogatory. I can't, I cannot look at a brown peach and say it's a brown peach and it's a, oh, you're insulting the peach. No, 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 I am not insulting the peach. I'm insulting you because you're insulting me. That's all. Um, I don't have anything else but Ghost Cat. Please click on the link. There's no gimmick. Anyway, so uh, I'm hoping to talk to the uh, distributor. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows Rego, but uh, click on my link, so send me some money. Uh, anyways, it's going to the funds, going to the funds to make the movie. We already spent like 10 grand uh, develop, developing, so that's our money, our money, meaning mostly my money, <laughs> meaning, well, whatever, you know, cheese, steal, and borrow, or whatever. So don't be knocking on my door and say, I want my money back, uh, because uh, these costs money uh okay so it takes money to make money you do not want to, that's why socialism doesn't work because everybody will expect everything for free and the stupid government promise to give everything for free only when you uh so-called buy back arms it's just confiscation confiscate your way your means to protect defend yourself when they're cracking down on you like Hong Kong okay I mean come on if you just look around you'll know if you want to get a ticket, the government sends you a ticket and wait in line. Just wait in line because it's free. Yeah, so every 70 years, you get a pair of shoes. No, I'm serious. I am not joking. I came, when I came, I had nothing. I had nothing. I mean, when I came into the world, I had nothing, but I still don't have anything. Anyways, so that's my point. Go click, uh, check out our poster. And uh, so uh, I'm excited with, uh, uh, I guess, the new development with the distributor uh, and also possibility of the comic book because this look like a comic book uh, we have some panels I just talked with an artist Mike Harris he said he's not you know he's not really into comic book drawing I said come on take another look um, I discovered this Mike Harris if you guys know any other artist that's like um, how can I say, like Vampirella Panza type of drawing, please send them our way. Even if you're a student, intern, whatever, uh, we want to hire you. And I, I am so serious because I'm a drawer, but I'm not, you know, a, a comic drawer. So you see what I'm saying? I need a comic drawer. Look on Mac, Mike Harris. Anyways, I thought he was great. It's not like, you know, DC or it's not that type of comic. It's even better. All right, but he said, well, he's not interested in doing comic. That's, that's all. So if you're a comic book artist, uh, I want to hear from you. And I want to hear from you. Please clink, clink. What did I say? Clink, 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 clink that. Clink, clink that. <laughs> I got I to gotta have that throat thing. <laughs> uh, what do you call the uh, PayPal.me? And that's ceiling 777. I will be hearing from you soon, I hope.